my like my everyday like skincare stuff I use on my like face and lips and whatnot. I have more products that I use as like makeup and like hair product, but this is just basically the like skincare and eye care products I use at the moment. So I just like reorganized this drawer. So it's still a little messy, but it's like a lot cleaner than it was. So here's just like an overview of it so far. And I'll like go in depth with it. So starting in this top corner, this is basically okay, besides these two things, these are all just samples of stuff. So I have some like Neutrogena blotting wipes and then those little Nordstrom, you can like fill those small containers with whatever product you want. And then I just have some Kiel stuff in there. And then the two products that like didn't really fit anywhere else. I have this Kiel's, it's like an eye cream, looks like that. And then I have just this Burt's Bees, like, cuticle cream. And then in the next area right here, these are, like, some of my eye products. So this is, like, mainly all of them right here. I have a few more, like, placed throughout this entire area, but this is, like, the majority of them. So this first one just looks like this. This is uh, just by Burt's Bees. It's just, like, one of the eye creams. And then the next thing is Hope in a Tube. Which is, I guess, for eyes and lips. And then have this Kiel Spatial Feel ID Puffer. And then in the next section, I have this Rock Retinol Eye Cream. And then just this Bliss one. And then this one's kind of like for teeth and nails, I guess. So I just have some like teeth whitener from CVS and there's like a little mouth guard down there that you put the teeth whitener stuff in. And then I just have some like white strips throughout here. And then right here there's just some apricot good oil. Some other like stuff with tea tree oil in it. This is like another eye cream. This is just by Birds Bees. And then I have a Butter, London, cute oil as well. So that's basically all in that department. And then right here, here's like the majority of my moisturizers. I have a few that didn't fit in this drawer, but those aren't. I don't really use them, so it doesn't really matter. So the first one I use as one of my like nightly ones is Hope in a Jar. And then also by Philosophy, I use the Take a Deep Breath. And then, next to those, I just have one of the Nivea, like, hand creams. And then, going next to it, here's some more stuff. So, I have Hope in a jar, but it's, like, in a tube. And then, I have this Kiehl's one. And then, I have one by Anthony's. And then the last one over here is by Philosophy, and this is the Clear Days Ahead. Which, this is like really messy, but whatever. And then my daily moisturizer, I have the Jack Black one. And then I have a few more over in this section. So I have one by Billy Jealousy. And then this one's not really a moisturizer, but I guess it's like used as a moisturizer. It's just like an oil controlling thing. And then in the center part, this is, like, my acne slash, like, primer stuff. So my everyday, like, toner I use is the one by Murad. And then one I just got the other day is this one by Neutrogena. I've only tried it a few times. Not sure how I feel about it yet. And then basically, here's just some more stuff. So I have this primer by Murad. I have this one by Makeup Forever. I have Professional, and then I have this Smashbox one, and then this is like a little bronzer thing. I also have a Clinique one that's in like, I put that in makeup for some reason, so that's in there. And then I have this Murad Spot Treatment, and then this, I don't know how to say that name, but it's Epiclare Duo stuff, this is just from like CVS, I think I got it. And then this is, like, another under-eye roller I have from Clinique, which is, like, my everyday one. And then, as a spot treatment, again, I have this Jason's Tea Tree Oil. And then my, like, favorite one of all time is this one. It's by Mara Badescu. 
Uh, I really, really like this one. Recommend it if you have a pimple because it makes pimples like a lot smaller overnight. So definitely recommend it. Then I have another bottle just next to there. And then I have just a couple bottles of Visine because I have like decently bad allergies. And then back here, this is like a little serum that's for hyperpigmentation. Um, then throughout here, I basically just have chapstick now. So these ones are just like the squeeze tube kind. So I have some hemp's and then... After that, I just have some Anthony and a lot of Jack Black ones, so those just go in there. And then I have some EOS chapsticks and a couple of things of floss. And this one's basically just, like, the traditional, like, regular chapsticks. So I have some, like, Nivea and Carmex and stuff, and down there are some Blistex. And then you can kind of see, but I have three of the, I believe they're Nivea? Yeah, Nivea lip butters. And just, like, a basic Carmex on top and then a Blistex. And then right there, it's just the Chocolate Lip Scar by Lush. And then underneath there, if I can get it, there's just the Body Shop Mango Lip Butter. So that's about it. Like, I mean, I have combs right here and brushes, but those are, like, basic. But that's about it for my, like, everyday getting ready skincare drawer, I guess you can call it. Besides, like, the stuff in the shower, obviously, and, like, makeup, but... Here's just another overview of that. So, if you guys have any questions on, like, different products you use or want to know more about the products I use or where to get them or anything like that, just let me know. Um, I also, if you have any recommendations, like, also, like I said, let me know because I'm interested in them. I like trying out new things, obviously, but hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.